In this video, we are going to look at this question on bearings. Uh, this was a question that came in last year's grade 12 exam. So the question reads, the diagram shows three points, P, Q, and R on, on level ground. The bearing of Q, the bearing of Q from P is 100 degrees. The bearing of R from Q is 150 degrees and PQ is equal to QR. So the information that we've been given is very important. Okay. Now the, the first question says, find angle QPR, angle QPR. So the middle letter, so at A, they want us to find angle Q. P R. So the middle letter indicates the vertex where the angle is. So angle Q P R is this angle here. Okay, so how are we going to find this angle? Alright, for us to find this angle, first of all, we need to know what this angle is. Okay. So, how are we going to know what this angle is? We will know this, we will know what this angle is, first of all, by extending this north here. Okay, let's extend this north. So, when you look at this north, this is a straight line. And angles, the sum of angles on the straight line is 180 degrees but out of 180 degrees we have been given 150 so for us to find this remaining angle here we are going to say 180 uh, degrees minus 150 and that gives 30 degrees okay all right now when you look at this north and this north they are parallel lines and this line here is a transversal. So this angle here and this angle here are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal. So meaning this angle here is also a hundred degrees. So meaning the entire angle here is one thirty because 130 degrees will give you 130, okay? So now, because they have said PQ is equal to QR, meaning this triangle here is a, an isosceles triangle, meaning these two base angles are equal, okay? So for us to find angle QPR, we are going to say, we are going to assume that this is X, and also this is x okay so we're going to say x plus x plus 130 degrees you should get 180 degrees 130 is coming from this entire angle 100 plus 30 okay so x plus x is 2x plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees um so you have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees so you are going to have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees is 50 degrees to find the value of x divide both sides by 2 then you have x is equal to 50 divided by 2 is 25 degrees. So meaning x is 25 degrees. So you conclude because they are not looking for x, they are looking for angle QPR, angle QPR, you are going to say therefore angle QPR is equal to 25 degrees. Okay, so this is the answer. So part B, which is the last question, they are saying you find the bearing of P from R. 
the bearing of P from R. So the word from is super important in bearings. So the word from means you are standing at R here. So this is where you are standing. And because you are standing at R, and because bearing is measured from the north, you are going to draw a north here at R, the point at which you are standing. Okay? So you measure, you are going to measure the bearing from the north clockwise until you meet the line that connects uh, P and R because it, they are looking for the bearing of P from R. So meaning the bearing they are looking for is this one. All right. So how are you going to find this bearing? Okay. So for you to find uh, this bearing, remember here we found that it's 25. X we said is 25. And because this is an isosceles triangle, even this other base angle is 25. So for us to find this bearing, we also need to know what this angle is. Okay? So when you look at this north and this north, they are parallel lines. And this line here is acting as a transversal. And so this angle here, the 30 degrees, is, is equal to this angle here because they are alternate angles. So this is also 30 degrees. So for us to find the bearing of P from R, we are going to say 360, which is a full 10, minus 25 plus 30. So we are going to say 360 degrees minus 25 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay? So you have 360 degrees minus 25 plus 30 is 55 degrees. 360 degrees minus 55 degrees is 305 degrees. So therefore, the bearing of P from R is 305 degrees all right thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing hit the like button and share and also if you want to learn more about bearings uh, you can just look at the, the video that is showing on the screen you can just click on the video that is showing on the screen